Let's then introduce the participants for this week's exciting game show and we have Siddhartha Chatterjee of Trust9 Securities, Mandar Jamsundekar of Precision Technical Analysis as well as Sumit Bagadia of Choice Broking. Gentlemen, great to have you with us on BNSN The Star Game. Mandar, let's nail it down to Jindal Polly. What's the rationale for picking out this one and do you think that it's a good price to buy it right now? Uh, yes, I think so. Jindal Poly from the morning, uh, it has uh, tra been trading flat and it's a good time to buy. The reason is the stock has been showing good momentum for the last six months. Yesterday, the stock has given us a breakout which suggests a target of 585 in the short term. Volume suggests a good interest built up with this stock being a trader's favorite. So that's the most important thing. So it's been a momentum stock and it's always been a favorite of all the traders. And therefore, in uh, buy in the intraday trade with the stop loss of 420 for a target of 490. Let's put the spotlight on Siet as well and find out the kind of move that we are seeing for Siet. Mandar, you've placed a buy call on that one and the stock has moved in the direction you estimated it to. Your target price has already been met. How much more of an upside uh, would you expect for Siet? Uh, yes, that's true. Uh, the stock achieved uh, the target in the first 10 minutes. Uh, but I believe the momentum should continue uh, and the reason is uh, this stock also has been a momentum stock and it's been a trader's favorite stock. It also trades in the FNO segment. The open interest has been rising which suggests that uh, the interest is building up. Uh, what has happened is uh, during the months of August and September, uh, September the stock went through a consolidation and after that on 10th of September it gave us a breakout above this consolidation which had a target of 1635 uh, that too suggesting uh, uh, this target to be achieved in the coming two months. So therefore this is going to be a momentum play and uh, a stock of interest uh, for the short term. Uh, with momentum shown yesterday, it seemed a good pick for intraday today and therefore I had a long in this with a stop loss of 12.25 for a target of 12.88. Let's get in a check on Mandar Jamsundekar's portfolio as well. He too has placed 4 buy calls. Target price so far has been met for C8 and bit of a bother coming in for Jindal Poli overall uh, portfolio giving him gains of close to 900 rupees. Mandar, then let's discuss SBI uh, from the banking space. Do you think that this one is the sole one that really stands out uh, given all of the worries that we have when it comes to NPAs and worsening asset quality from the entire PSU lot? Uh, I won't be able to uh, talk about NPAs, but technically this is this stock stands out and this is this has got a unique formation which has happened recently on charts. Uh, see, uh, we have discussed the level of 235 last time as well in this. This 235 level was acting as a support for this stock for the last one year. Uh, in the first week of September, this stock gave us a uh, uh, or broke this level on the lower side. So when a support is broken, later on this support itself becomes a resistance for the price as it trades below that level. But in this, what has happened is uh, after trading below this 235 level for 14 days in the first uh, of September on 16th of September we have seen uh, the stock price move above this again so this unique kind of a formation this is called as a bell trap formation in technicals and uh, so therefore people who have gone short below that level are trapped and yesterday we had the price uh, sustaining above this level with uh, strength and good open interest rise so this means there has to be short covering uh, which, which has to come in this particular stock with expiry scheduled in the next two days uh, for September. Therefore, I had a buy in this with a stop loss of 230, 241 for a target of 252 for today. But I expect above 235, the stock should also manage to go up uh, test levels of uh, 280 and 290 in the short term. But let's discuss Granules India. The stock has clearly been on an up move and has been on a tear. The target price that Mandar has set out is about 138. The stock today is also gaining close to a good 2%. But Mandar, take a look at the last three months and the stock has clearly been on an up move. A good 50 to 60% is what Granules India has gained. Would you expect some more upside on the stock? Uh, yeah, rightly said. In the last three months, the stock has moved from 80 levels to 130. So that has been a good return. But uh, if you look at the overall chart, then uh, it also says that the uh, two months, that is from August to September, the stock has been trading range bound between 110 and 130. 
so uh, it's also gone through that consolidation it's also gone through that correction and now it's showing renewed interest uh, yesterday in f- form of a breakout that it gave uh, with rising volumes uh, so that suggests that this momentum should be able to continue and short term the stock has got a target of 167 which is expected to be achieved in a month's time and uh, i believe that the momentum should uh, continue and therefore i had a uh, intraday buy in this particular stock with a stop loss of 125 for a target of 138 in the intraday trade also it's showing us good undercurrent it's uh, uh, trading flat between a level of 135 and 134 for now uh, for the last uh, uh, two hours and uh, i believe in the afternoon trade we should be able to see the stock move up higher 2% is what the stock is gaining a big thumbs up. Thanks so much then gentlemen for taking time out and joining in on this leg of BNSN the stock game with your top picks. With that we're completely timed out.